How to write an informative essay. Steps for writing an informative essay. 1. Understand the topic of the assignment. 2. Conduct research on the topic. 3. Take notes as you research. 4. Brainstorm your ideas and make a rough draft. 5. Write the essay and follow an outline. 6. Edit and revise the first draft. 7. Submit your assignment. 1. Understand the assignment topic. When given your assignment, take time to understand the topic first. Then, analyze how you are going to handle it and what are the key words. Again, check on the task instructions like the word limit, submission date, and other additional information, check which referencing style you should use for your essay to prepare yourself. Are there any special formatting requirements that you don't know? This moment is appropriate to revisit anything you feel may hinder you from tackling the task. 2. Conduct research on the topic. An informative essay aims to educate your readers, therefore, you must conduct thorough research. Let your audience get the best details from your content and feel satisfied. Remember to use objective sources as you conduct your research. Go for published articles, scholarly journals, and peer-reviewed articles that will offer facts on the topic. Also, you can check out online sources like reputable organizations, governments, and universities. But it's always best to start with Google Scholar. Additionally, Always keep the sources of your information for citation purposes. When you start reading, you will know the relevant materials, so keep them safe. 3. Take notes as you research. This tactic always works for many people. It's easy to grasp concepts from reading material when you make notes. This technique helps you to incorporate your thoughts, keeping your work original. You already know that an essay should have an introduction, body, and conclusion. So, focus more on the body to generate your main ideas and expound them. 4. Brainstorm your ideas and make a rough draft. After gathering all the information from your sources, it's best to brainstorm on the main topic ideas. First, create a road map of your essay by forming headings and subheadings of the topic. Then, Gather all the relevant information under each section and add your thoughts to the explanations. Let your thoughts connect to the topic and provide enough evidence from the materials. Again, ensure you do free writing to encourage the flow of thoughts. Don't dwell so much on the format, but on your concepts on the topic. Write non-stop for around 10 minutes on anything you have about the topic. Don't stop to make edits or corrections, as this will interfere with the thinking process. 5. Write the essay and follow an outline. After writing down all your ideas, it's time to organize them into paragraphs. Focus on the flow of ideas in the essay by making the necessary transitions. Ensure you follow the correct outline of your essay. As discussed below, let each paragraph carry one main idea. Then use support statements as evidence for your idea or examples for further explanations. Each paragraph should thus portray unity by explaining one idea, relating to the thesis, and showing coherence. 6. Edit and revise your essay. Start by reading through your essay to check on language. Read it loud to listen if any phrase sounds awkward, and revise it accordingly. Check also for the words used many times and change them. If, for instance, you use the word edit several times in the same paragraph, your work seems clucky and unpolished. Finally, proofread your work for spelling and grammar errors. You can read more details on writing informative essays, especially on nature topics. Informative essay outline an informative essay should have a five-paragraph outline as follows, introduction, first paragraph, hook, background information, thesis statement, body, second paragraph, topic sentence, supporting evidence, concluding sentence transition, body, third paragraph, topic sentence, supporting evidence, concluding transition, body, fourth paragraph, topic sentence, 
supporting evidence. Concluding transition, conclusion, fifth paragraph, reiteration of the thesis statement, summary of the main points and conclusion of the essay, you should follow the above structure as you write your essay. Let's discuss each of the sections in detail as follows. Informative essay introduction, in every introduction, like in research papers or literature reviews, you highlight the topic question on the discussed issue. The essay should begin with a hook to catch the reader's attention. Your introduction shouldn't be very long for an essay, especially if you are researching a general topic in society. Include the background content of the topic and the thesis and make a transition into the body. Thesis. The thesis should focus on your essay. It's your last introduction sentence and should summarize your main point. So, the thesis statement should have the following features. Elaborate on the essay's purpose without expressing your opinion on the topic. The argument should be precise and readable. The statement should appeal to the reader to encourage them to read more. Informative body essay. Use the body section to educate your audience on the topic. You can have three or more paragraphs depending on the essay word limit and the discussion content. In each paragraph, remember you should make a claim, support evidence, and offer explanations, CEE, formula. The claim should be the topic sentence with the main idea. So, offer evidence of your claim from the sources that you have. Remember the evidence should be factual and credible, and ensure you include citations. If you are having issues creating and organizing paragraphs, read this guide, informative essay conclusion. After writing the essay, it's a moment to wrap it up. Your conclusion should restate the thesis and provide final thoughts on the topic. Then, create a general concluding statement to finalize your essay. Also, explain the essay topic's significance and its application to the audience. Which are the types of informative essays? Educating an audience on a topic can be a broad term, thus, several types of informative essays exist. 1. Definition essay, the simple form of an informative essay. It defines and gives background information on one specific topic or subject. 2. Descriptive essay, it's the description of an individual, an event, a situation, or an issue. This essay makes the reader understand the experience as much as possible. 3. Compare and contrast. It's a complicated form of an informative essay. The essay explains how a situation is similar or different from a given angle. 4. Cause and effect. Explain how something came into existence or its effects on other things. 5. Process essay. It's a how-to guide. This paper gives the details of the steps to make something happen. 6. Narrative essay more of storytelling. This essay gives information about a personal experience. So, the purpose of an informative essay is to educate the reader without any subjective opinions or trying to persuade them. If you need writing help in any of the above informative essays, reach out to us. Best informative essay topics, in case you choose from a list of topics, there are some key things you should remember. 1. Understand the topic. 2. Choose the topics that you like. 3. Consider your audience for the essay. 4. Ensure the topic isn't too broad or very specific so that you get quality information. 5. Choose a topic with interesting information that can attract the reader. Six. Choose a topic that has reputable sources of reporting. If you apply the above tips, choosing a topic won't be hectic. Again, it will be fun researching and writing about the subject. Below are some interesting topics you can write on an informative writing. Common errors students should avoid in informative writing. This paper may sound easy to handle, but you should note and avoid a few things. Use of personal pronouns, this essay should inform and not provide an opinion about the subject. If you use personal pronouns, your work sounds more like thoughts than facts and won't be interesting to read. Analyzing the content, don't get tempted to give your thoughts or emotions on the topic because you will mislead your audience. Instead, 
Give the facts on the subject and leave the reader informed and not confused. Repetition makes sure your content isn't repeated several times. Thus, it's best to proofread accurately. Lack of honesty, it's best to provide data on all the information or content you give. Failure to have supporting evidence makes you look dishonest in writing, which doesn't sound good for any academic writing. Lack of logic, your essay should have a systematic flow of ideas. Don't write ideas after ideas. Instead, follow the outline we explained above, especially in the body. This outline will make the essay consistent, smooth and clear. Always remember to use the best choice of transition words, neglecting thesis statement that holds up the rest of your essay. The thesis reveals the main idea of your paper and the focus of your discussion. If you ignore the thesis, you will likely go off topic and confuse the reader using inappropriate sources of information. There are many sources of information in this modern era. However, it's not every piece of data you can trust, especially on the web. Instead, go for peer-reviewed journals, published articles, and credible organizations like government and education centers.